This playthrough is rated T for teen. It's time to take the grand tour. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Beneath the Steel Sky. In the last episode, we finally made our way to the middle management section, which is up what we all should strive for. And uh, we just gotta continue to figure out how to go down. Now, before we continue on, one of the things I've forgotten to do over the course of the game is actually show inventory to people. Sometimes they'll have unique conversations with you if you show them something, and I forgot to do that. I, I, I forgot that was a thing. For some reason, it just kind of uh, just kind of popped up the top of my head while I was playing. I was like, oh, right, I forgot you could do this. So, so I, well, I load back to an old save where I grabbed quite, quite a few items just so I could show Joey, because Joey has unique dialogue for almost all the items you grab in the game. So let's, uh, all you have to do is hold on to it and click it to Joey to get some response. Give me an analysis, Joey. It's a metal bar. What sort of metal? It's an alloy of iron and carbon. Now, not every conversation is going to be a joke, but sometimes you'll get some funny stuff. Give me an analysis, Joey. It contains flour, water, vegetable oil, salt, egg, garlic, with glycerin and pig lungs. Oh, disgusting. Well, if you've ever eaten a hot dog, you've eaten worse. Give me an analysis, Joey. It's a 30 millimeter wrench. Yeah, some of them are pretty straightforward with what, what the description is, so. Give me an analysis, Joey. It's an ID card in the name of Wright. You'd better keep that, Foster. That'll be important someday. Give me an analysis, Joey. Of those shades? Yes, go on. They're broken. Oh, well, good to know. Give me an analysis, Joey. I think it's putty. You're wrong. That's plastic explosive. Yeah, we use it to blow up, to get the blow up the power source uh, in the power factory or whatever. Give me an analysis, uh, Joey. Power plant. It's an intricately cut key, Rob. And obviously these can only be shown in this section, the key and the WD-40, because the guy outside takes them from us, so. Give me an analysis, Joey. Lubricant? You can give me a squirt of that anytime. Hey, this is this is rated E for everyone, buddy. Oh yeah, can't use it on ourselves or anything like that, so. Okay. Uh, actually there's a unique dialogue after you uh after a right gets killed, if you use an item on Joey after after you uh he gets shot. Give me an analysis, Joey. What? Sorry. My anti stress circuit was engaged. But those shades? Yes, okay, they're this is, this is the same thing. Let's get out of here. Up and away. Okay. Uh let's see, I'm trying to remember. I don't they, there might be some other ones I might have missed over the course of the game, but uh, we can come back to those later. Like, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a save like right after the power plant guy, but I can come back at a later date. Not too big a deal, but I'll be aware of it in the future for the purposes of just entertainment and stuff like that. So, but anyway, we're back on middle middle management. Let's see if uh, I can have any items to show Gallagher here. You usually tell when there's nothing to say when they'll have like a generic line of dialogue. Here, have a present. Definitely not. Okay, so that's generic. When he says have a present, that means he doesn't have anything to say. Here, de Okay, that's the same. Here, have definitely. Here, de Okay, so I don't know every single line of dialogue. Here, de Okay, it seems like he doesn't have much to say. Here, de Okay, we can skip him then. I'll try in the future to find out who has what with what dialogue just to make it a bit more quick, if that makes sense. So, anyway, we found ourselves in Reich's room, though. We got ourselves a magazine and a cable. Let's see what Joey has to say about those. Give me an analysis, Joey. Nothing special about it. It's an ordinary light bulb. Uh, I thought it was like some LED, like high voltage, low, low lumens or whatever. Oh. Lumens is brightness, I don't know why I said that. Like low voltage, high lumens, that type of thing, but anyway. Give me an analysis, Joey. A motorbike magazine. Those machines are sleek. He might have a thing for motor motorbikes, then. Give me an analysis, Joey. It's mostly copper. The traces of iron, carbon, and magnesium. Would it bear my weight? Oh yes, easily. Good to know, that's something we can think of, so... 
An interesting thing about Lamb, the guy walking around, I actually do need to talk to him at one point. Not right now, but I will need to talk to him. Alright. Anyway, let's keep exploring this place. Yeah, I'll try to throw more items onto people, um, just for humor and all this other stuff, so... Well, sometimes, anyway. Let's go this way instead and see what the... Travel Co. and... Was that Anchor Infrastructure? Insurance. Didn't we read a thing about that? Oh yeah, there's a link terminal, but it's basically the same thing, so nothing new on that. I wonder what's kept in there. Stick your hand in there, buddy. It's empty. Oh. Well, there you go. There's the solution. What do you know about art, Joey? Do you include welding under that topic? Well, I suppose so. If it's creative welding. I can make a few improvements to that sculpture. By just cutting it in half, basically. Man and machine. Oh, postmodern art. I love it. Seriously, it's the greatest thing ever. If that's art, I must be missing something. I'll force you to have the same opinion about it. Yeah, nothing we can do about that, so. Alright, let's go to Travel Co. Let's see what's up what's up with that thing. Oh, that guy's loose. I wonder if Joey actually comes inside. Let's see, America poster. A big female robot with a welding torch. That would make the Statue of Liberty more badass, wouldn't it? Yeah, I can't grab it. There's the British uh, th uh, flag or poster, I mean. What a dump. I wouldn't want to go there. <laughs> uh, it's funny because Australians make fun of the British all the time. Can you interface with that computer, Joey? That's not a good idea. Why not? Because the system has a virus. How can you tell? Just believe me, I know these things. He has virus radar? Mm. It's a wooden case with lots of little compartments. Kind of like a mail slot, even though it says pigeonholes. They're all completely empty. It's a painting of how things used to look. Back before the dark times. Back before modernization and technology. Bigger than the one I had as a kid. I used to play with it for hours. How can you play with a globe for hours? The only thing you could do is spin it. There you go. Oops. Never mind. Up. Can you keep spinning it? No, it just resets the animation if you uh, hit it, so. Now let's see what this man has to say. Hello. Welcome to Feather's Travel Company. Where do you want to go? Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. I prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. What kind of tours do you offer? Well, there's a wide choice. The Grand City Tour, the Economy City Tour, and the Mystery Tour. Magical Mystery Tour? Is it gonna take me away? Take me away? What's the mystery tour? If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery. Oh, that's the joke we're going with. How do I know it's not a ripoff? That's the chance you have to take. Dang it. All right. What's the difference between grand and economy? The economy tour is cheaper. Exactly the same itinerary, but less prestigious. Well, I don't care about prestigious, at least in real life, so. Uh, yeah, Grand Tour, well, we don't even have any money, right, so. Book me on the economy tour. I'll make your reservation. You can pick up the ticket in a month or two. Can't I have the ticket now? Sorry, there's a waiting list. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow, that makes, that makes travel a little bit more difficult. Go on. Give me a ticket. I told you, there's a waiting list. Hmm, makes it inconvenient, that's for sure. Did you know your computer has a virus? It can't happen. My robot assures me it does. Get a life. That's just a welder on wheels. Show him, Joey. Analyze his brain patterns. You sure? It's like a cesspit in there. He's obsessed with archaic images of masculinity and his failure to live up to them. He sees the laws banning motorbikes as repressive. A 
form of institutionalized castration. All right, knock it off. His ideal woman would be a combination of his mother and his first moped. You leave my moped out of this. <laughs> kind of, that, that combination almost sounds like it should be something from an anime or a cartoon or something like that. You know, my, my motorbike girlfriend or something like that. I would not be surprised if that's a thing with the internet and all that. So, But anyway, that's a clue to basically say give him a mo the magazine with the motorbikes on it. So, Do you know a guy called Oberman? Never heard of him. No one seems to know this guy. Is there anything you'd swap for a ticket? I doubt if you've anything which interests me. Well, we know, but... It doesn't matter. All right, well, anyway, let's... Uh, oops. Let me show off some stuff, see if he has a dialogue for it. Would you like this smart metal bar? Is it from a motorbike? No, from a railing on a staircase. No use to me, then. That's another clue for the motorbike magazines. Do you want this wrench? I've already got a complete set. I think everyone should have a wrench set, even if you're not a, a handsy on kind of guy, because you never know. Would you like my ID card? No, I wouldn't. No, you gotta get something for this guy. Would you like a light bulb? For sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what else he... I mean, other than the magazine, what other... Would you like this cable? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, he reacts to a lot of things, so... Not all that super funny, but... Alright, let's give him the actual thing, so... Would you swap a ticket for this magazine? You mean it? Of course I will. It's the T.E. Lawrence Collector's Issue. I've been looking for that for years. Well, good thing, uh, good thing Reich had it. Now he's dead and we don't have to worry about that, so... It doesn't... Oh, oh there it is. I was about to say, when are we going to get the ticket? Travel co-tours. One adult. All right, let's see what we got. Ticket. The printing on the ticket reads, Travel co-tours. One adult. I don't give refunds. Can't get the magazine back, and now he's now he's reading the magazine the whole time. Does he have dialogue now that he's got something? Would you like to? No, I would. Okay, never mind. All right, let's see what Joey has to say. Give me an analysis, Joey. It's made of recycled paper. Okay, so now we can go on a tour. So maybe that'll take us down to the bottom floor by getting this tour. But who gives tours though? Anyway, let's uh, check in with this anchor guy, see what he has to say. Don't get washed away, get an anchor policy. Huh. Uh, looks like things are going down. It shows the state of business, and it doesn't look good. I mean, why would you need, a, why would you need to insure your anchor? I'm just saying. A guy in a rubber raincoat carrying an anchor. How often do you need anchors in real life if you're not a seaman? The anchor is firmly attached to the statue. Yeah, if only I could grab it. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. Now we can take that anchor. So. Hey! Get your robot away from my statue! No, uh, no easy. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Can you interface with that computer, Joey? I could if I wanted to. I'm asking you to do it. Correction, you're ordering me to do it. Don't be pedantic. Just do it. What am I searching for? Anything on Overman for a start. Yeah, why does Joey have to be such a uh, so pedantic, you know? This directory is a hopeless mess. I'm going to reorganize his hard drive. That's better. There's nothing on Oberman, though. Yeah, that's... Alright, let's see what this guy has to say. Oh yeah, we can hand up some stuff, too. Is this crowbar any use to you? Not in my line of business. You could use it to extract signatures. Huh. Ooh. Just like the mob or something like that. Is this tool any use to you? Is it insured? Of course not. It's only a wrench. That's a very irresponsible attitude. 
Of course, insurance salesman would want you to insure everything. Here's my ID. I don't want your card. Yeah, having, a, having an idea. Here, have a present. You're joking, yeah? Okay, as far as I'm aware of, he has the same dialogue for the magazine as well as the cable, so we didn't miss anything out of that one, so. Here, have a present. You're joking. Okay, that's the same. All right, so so for the travel code thing, we actually want to talk to Lamb. Uh, the problem with Lamb is sometimes he'll be in either the upper level or the bottom level, depending on how things go. So you want to find him and talk to him. And I want to hand him stuff just to see what he says. It doesn't take too long for him to appear, but if you go to the upper floor, that's probably the best place to encounter him. Let's see what else everyone has to say before we uh, try to get a hold of uh, Lamb. Lamb's the guy in the big fur coat, by the way. Oh, if you go this way, it's unnecessary to go this way, but it, you go into the foreground, or background, I mean. Yeah, there's nothing, as far as I'm aware of, there's, not, there's no reason to be able to go back here. You could just, you could just go back there. That's all it is. Yeah, see? There's, like, nothing to it. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of funny, actually. Oh, there's Lamb. Yeah, he's gonna be going upstairs. Oh well, we'll we'll go upstairs so we can catch him. The only problem is he moves around, so you have to like if you want to show him items, you have to catch him before he walks off. So I can't open the door with my hands. It's the elevator which goes back up to the factory. All right, let's use the card again. Joey took too long. <laughs> I actually have to go back down because uh, cause Joey took too long to come to the, the door. Because if Joey's not in the general area, you uh, he won't make it. And he'll, like, if you need him for something, you have to go all the way back to do it. So it's probably one of the more annoying things about this game. And you may have to make sure Joey's on screen to do it. Oh, wait, I don't have to do that again. Oh, or, yes, I do. Never mind. Okay, now Joey should come if he's in the on Come on, Joey. Alright. Actually, I think we need to be both... Actually, now that I think about it, I think we need both need to be in the factory for Lamb to, uh... To, uh... To be able to get Lamb to talk to her, uh, do the thing I want to, so... Oh, there- Ah, oh, no, he's gone! Dang it. I almost feel guilty for- I have to wait for Lamb to reset. I might have to- I might have to cut to when he comes back. Oh yeah, I guess I could show items that one guy while I'm here. See what he has to say. The guy who took my WD-40. Excuse me. I had to walk all the way over there. I've got a present for you. Bribery, is it? Well, that won't work on me. Guys, this game is so British. Excuse me. I've got a present. Okay. Let's see. Excuse me. I thought he had some dialogue for items. I've got a bra. Yep. Excuse me. I've got a present. Yeah, it seems like it's the same for. Excuse me. I've got a bra. Yeah. I guess where Excuse he has some dialogue for something. I've got a bra. Well, I don't have the other items, so, okay. We can't go back that way because of, uh, the supposed radiation. Okay, I guess I'll cut to when Lamb appears on screen, because I don't know how long that's actually going to take. So, I'll be back in a second. All right, there's Lamb. Hey, oh. Lamb. I need to give him the, get the ticket from him. So, yeah, I think you can talk to him anywhere. You just have to. See you later. Okay, hold on. Let me. Hey, Lamb. I want to show him the items first before we do this. I've got something for you. Not now, lad. No. Hey. Says the same. I've got no. Okay, he's gonna say the same thing for all of them. So. Hey, Lamb. 
Would you like this ticket? What's it for, lad? A tour. Wouldn't you like a holiday? You're right. I really deserve a break. You know, I'm so touched. I'm going to give you something in return. I was kind of hoping you might. Something you'll look back on for the rest of your life. Yeah? Hi, lad. A tour of my factory. Oh, great. Meet me there. You're in for the treat. Uh, from what I understand, the way you're supposed to figure that out is by talking him, talking to him in general, and he, he mentions how he wants to go on a break and stuff like that. So, so that's how you're supposed to know to give him the ticket. So, at any time, he'll head back here and he'll wait for you, so you can talk to him now. Whatever. Now we can show hey, items. Hey, I've got some. No. Okay. Uh. Hey, I've got some. No. Hey. I got no. Okay. Hey, Lamb. All right. When do we get the tour? When do I get the tour you promised me? Well, there's no time like the present. We'll start right now. Now, take a look at this machine. It's a very nice machine, I guess. This machine measures the internal bore of the pipes. Accurate to 20 decimal places, whatever that means. Impressive, isn't it? All those numbers. I'm sure they mean something. Follow me. I'll show you the next section. Sounds like a financier to me, or was it those guys who own corp you know, overheads for executives? All they care about the numbers, they don't actually know what that means, just as long as it gives them money. This machine is supposed to drive the conveyor, but it's not bloody working. Heads will roll for this. Foreman Potts, why is this machine stopped? Stopped? I've been so busy I didn't notice. Can't I trust you with anything? Look after my desk, Potts. I'll have to leave you to show yourself around. Yeah, convenient for us, huh? But yeah, we can continue on to the... Now that he said we can uh, activate this Excuse place, me. We can now go over to the other side. Aren't you going to mend the conveyor? That's not my job. My job is to record figures. But everything stopped. My clipboard still works. But what about the pipes? What pipes? The ones on the conveyor belt. That's a special order. And I can't talk about it. Top secret, huh? That's right. Yeah, not, a, not allowed to work on anything other than that. Love, don't you love bureaucracy? Mind if I look around? Since you're a friend of Lamb's, you can go where you like. But I'd stay clear of the reactor if I was you. Unless you're wearing some protection. Uh, quote unquote friend, but okay. Yeah, we were trying to get access to this place for a little while. Hey, it's uh, Annette, right? Anita, I mean, it's been a minute since we've seen her. I guess this is, wait, she got shoved from this room to this room? Uh, okay, whatever. I feel bad we caused her that to happen to her, but. I feel an overwhelming urge to open these lockers. As a pro, uh, as a point I've got a discrepancy of 0.13. <laughs> as a as a point click adventure protagonist, I must open lockers. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing interesting in this locker. Yeah, close it. How about this one? I feel an oop. Okay. A hanger. Nothing interesting in this locker. But nothing we can take. Confirmed. Fluctuation normal. Okay. How about this one? I feel an open. Oops. I guess it's the same either way. Nothing. Nothing in. All right. Wait, wait. Oh, there he is. Never the mind. Same. All right. Let's see. Oh, what's this? The display is full of numbers. 
Doesn't mean a thing to me. No, they can't. They're waiting for me to move. By the way. Uh, let's see. Yeah. That's not right, is it? Well, let's see what Anita has to say. What are you doing now? Checking for cracks with x-rays. You shouldn't be here without a protective suit. You're not wearing one. Lamb told me I didn't qualify. As I'm a dealing and a woman. Ouch. Uh, as long as she stays behind this, right, or the shield, she'll be fine, right? What's so special about these pipes? I'm not sure, but the dimensions of the ball must conform to precise specifications. All that effort for a bit of plumbing? It's suspicious, isn't it? Perhaps they're part of a giant weapon. Oh, come on, that's a bit far-fetched. That's a science fiction game, who knows? What are you doing after work? What do you have in mind? Well, an evening at the theater, a walk by the lake in the moonlight, and to finish, a candlelit supper. Sounds great. But first I'll have to get decontaminated. Another time, perhaps. Wow, what a smooth talker Forrester is. And she basically was fine with it. She just was busy at the moment, so hey. Well, she seems like a nice girl, so why not? But uh, we got other things to do. Maybe it's because maybe because Forrester was from the, the Gap or the Wild Outland, so you know, he has a different mentality about things. I don't know. Or she, maybe she likes him. I don't know. She didn't just tell us to shove off, so. What's your opinion of Lamb? I'm a dealing. I'm not entitled to an opinion. But to be honest, I think he's a turd. From one D-Link to an outsider, right? What's a D-Link? D-Link is the lowest social category. When your link status is zero, you forfeit all rights and your freedom to move back to the city. How come you didn't know that? I'm an outsider from the Gap. So it's you, security, you're after. You won't get far without an ID card. Ah, I managed to find one. I bet it won't get you to ground level, though. You'll need a link status of eight or more. Now, how do we, how do we do that, though? So, hmm. I have to get to ground level. Look, I really sympathize with you. I could give you my jammer. Yeah, well, what's that? Yeah. What's a jammer? Bypass software. Highly illegal. It gets you past the retina scan to security files. That's a start. Can you let me have the jammer? Give me your ID card. Okay. Hold on, I want to ask you more questions, though. I feel like we're going to get her in trouble. I just, I hope nothing bad comes about this. How come you were made a D-Link? I was caught hacking into Link. Why did you do that? There are areas in Link space used by security. I was trying to discover what they're up to. Huh. I wonder what they are up to. What do you mean by Link space? The word inside the computer's memory. The abstract projection of Link's circuits and data banks. Hmm. We know Link's up to something weird just because of the hole he killed one of the security officers uh, supposedly to save me or something. Someone was messing with D-Link. It's or Link or something like that. I'm not sure, but... What do you know about the Council? It was one of the Council who came up with a plan to bond his mind with Link. And ever since then, things have been getting weird. Uh, see you later. Now, let's hand her some stuff. Mainly she wants the card, but... I'd like you to have this gift. I have no use for personal possessions. As a D-Link or whatever, so... I'd like you to... I've no... Okay, just saying she had any... I'd like... I've no... Any unique dialogue outside of the card. I'd like you... I've no... Okay, let's give her the card. Here's my card. Thanks. This won't take long. What are you doing? Downloading the jammer to your card. There, it's done. Don't worry. I'll fix everything. You're taking a huge risk. No problem. I'll get us both back on Link's files. Oh, well, we could do that. Will the jammer get me into Link space? No, the only access is through the special interface. There's just one little problem. You'll need to get a Schreiberman port. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. How do I get a Schreiberman port? Well, you'll have to undergo surgery. I need that like I need a hole in the head. The Schreiberman port is a hole in the head. Ooh. Wait, why is why is he said Schreiberman uh, and she said Schreiberman? Like, 
What what is it that like he, they said two different descriptions? Did the voice actor, or do, voice director, not get them to? Co uh, oh, well, it could be just because she's from a different place and pronounces things differently. But I doubt they were that far ahead. Does Link have any internal security? They'll be foiled naturally. What are they? Intrusion foil programs. Are they dangerous? Well, standard IFPs are simply deterrents, but some high-level foils can be lethal. Okay. Oh, by the way, you can't, uh, the, the whole, now that we have the retinal scan thing, there's a couple things we can do, but we can't go, um, uh, we can't actually go through security. We can show them the card and get a, another option there. Uh, but. See you later. Uh, see you. anything else? Never. Might see, wait for that man to pop up again, just to see what he, I mean, he's not going to say anything because he's in a, you know, a uh, radiation suit, but still. Excuse me. Gotta get positioned. What's your job? Oh, I see. Why are you wearing that suit? Oh, that makes sense. I can't hear what you're saying. It's a waste of time talking to you. Oh. You're wasting your breath. Huh. Sorry. Excuse me. I don't think he has anything to say about items either. Would you like this? Forget it. Okay. Can we actually check that? Or... Check. Oh. Never mind. I suppose it's a protective screen. It's firmly anchored to the ground. All right, let's see what happens if we walk inside this place without a without protection. So I could name it. Uh... That little battle happened for me going here, right? Holding steady. It's the entrance to the reactor. It obviously doesn't open manually. Let's see, I'm just seeing what else is around here. There's a small monitor screen and some knobs. I've got a discrepancy of 0.13. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's one way to die. Alright. See if there's anything else we can do in there. Because, yeah, we died from radiation poisoning, so. There's a. Yeah, let's see if we can shut it down or not. Wait, don't we have a don't we have a card to do that though? Okay, well anyway. Let's see, deploy reactor status. Deuter deuterium, 15.85%, tritium, 7.03%, temperature 2 million degrees Kelvin and a thousand Kelvin per second, or whatever. Plasma state, 96% ionized. Magnetic field, 100 kilogauss. Uh, Lemming strawlung, level 5%. Danger, exposure to zeta radiation. Okay, we can't do anything else right now. At least not this uh, section, so. Alright, let's see. Let's see if there's anything else we can interact with before we leave. Yeah, let's see what this is. It's a weird, antiquated machine. Ooh. Can't imagine how it works. Well, unless you're an engineer or not understand that stuff, you. you're probably not going to understand how half the stuff works or looks. But with the internet now, we can look up a lot of that stuff quite regularly, you know. You know, I, I didn't know how to plumber, but now I can plumb. Well, I could replace faucets and stuff like that. Hey, that's better than most of my al uh, colleagues. They can't, they don't know how to use a wrench, most of them don't. But anyway, it looks like we've uh, gotten the grand tour of this place, sort of. And we got ourselves uh, a new car, and now we have to get a hole in the head to uh, 
to uh, get past to the next level. How's that going to work out? Uh, well, this ain't like the Matrix, that's for sure. But find out what happens next time in the next episode of Beneath the Steel Sky. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.